Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you some um, cards, flashcards, that we use within our home for black history, African studies. You can even throw in some language arts, which um, includes like vocabulary, reading comprehension. You can spark um, self-directed learning, um, interest-led learning um, for your children. You can use these cards to create unit studies. You can go to the library and get some biographies. <laughs> you can get some videos to expound upon what these cards say. You can look on Netflix and YouTube to see if you can, you know, make something so small in the form of a flashcard come to life. So let's take a look at each one of these decks. And I'll also talk to you about how we use them um, in the form of flashcards. All right, to play these games, let me just show you um, what they provide, which gives you an idea of how you can play the games. So take a look at that. Along with what it says, you know, you can like give each person a five cards or seven cards, and then you can have them um, give you facts. So I would, well, no, you can't do that with this. I apologize. I'm thinking about something totally different. So let's stick with how they tell us to play the game. <laughs> okay, so in deck one, here's an example of what a card would say. And the, they give you the points at the bottom. It tells you how many points you earn at the bottom. And we just talked about this with my son. Um, the answer is Carter G. Woodson. I remember that. And then if you flip the card over, it tells you, oh, we're right. Carter G. Woodson. Let me give you another example. Do you know the answer? Do you know the answer? Let's see. Are you right? Hopefully you're right. Ding, 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 ding. If you're not, that's okay. It sparks interest. It sparks self-led and directed learning with your kids. They'll go find out. The second deck. Do you know the answer? Were you right? Here's another one. And let's see if you got that answer right. So here's what I do. I would go through the decks and I would choose the cards that I know we have studied. Okay, the cards that I know we have studied, the information I know we have talked about within our home education or my son maybe um, during his independent time, you know, learned it on Who's Who on Netflix or happened to learn it um, in a YouTube video or anything like that. I would pull out those cards and then maybe in a month or two, I would gather those cards and we would play the game. And as we learned information, I would add on to it. And what I would also do is I would throw in some cards that we haven't learned that I know he would be interested in based on what we're talking about that week or that month. Um, it can be for science, it could be for history, it could be for something, you know, entrepreneurship. If um, a person that's within this deck is related to one of those industries or those fields, then I would add it to that. Therefore, if he didn't know that, if he did not know the answer, it would spark interest. And I would say, hey, maybe you want to go and find out about that person. Or if I had three or five, three to five cards like that, I would say, choose one of those cards and, you know, Whenever you have a moment, go and find out some information about that person. I would put that card on the board, and when he has the answer to the question, he would kind of come and say, oh, yeah, I learned about that person, and the answer is this. And he always says, well, did you know that the person did this and that? So, again, you see, it sparked interest, self-directed learning. I would take that card and add it to our We Already Know deck so that we can, you know, play it actively at the next um, go-around. So let me show you another deck. 
Also, all decks have 52 cards, okay? All decks have 52 cards. And I have decks 1 through 4, volumes 1 through 4. And if you are going through these cards and you're playing with your kids, you are going to know the answers to those um, trivia cards that we showed earlier in this video. So with these here, it shows you the picture, flip it over, it gives you facts. So how you can play this is you can give everybody five to seven cards. When it's their turn, they would show the picture, the first person to buzz in. We like using buzzers, things that make sounds. So the first person to buzz in would have the opportunity to give me at least, at a minimum, two facts. So I show the picture, someone buzzes in, I would say two facts, they would turn the card over, and they would have to give me two facts. Okay? And what you can also do is you can, you know, take five cards a week, take one card a week from each deck, two cards a week from each deck, and you can have your students study that. You can create unit studies, lesson plans, um, include uh, short books, um, do a read aloud, watch a video on the cards that you're learning that particular week. Okay, you don't only have to utilize this for Black History Month, although it's a great way to bring in African and African American studies during that month, but you could also do this year long. So if you are, you know, doing composer studies or if you're doing picture study or if you are learning um, facts on European history or world history, throw in some black history, throw in a few of these cards and have your children um, learn information that is multicultural and diverse. OK, so that's deck one or volume one. And I got these decks on sale for $9.99. They're normally way more than that. But again, if you know me, I love a deal and I love a good sale. So I will put it in my cart. I will wait. I will sign up for newsletters and um, notifications. And then once I get an email that says flash sale, I am on it. <laughs> so here is volume two and it's all about women. So let's take a look. Again, I would play these the same way. So comment below, guys, and tell me, you know, what are some ways that you think would be really cool? What are some really cool ways that you would play these cards, um, which, which would probably spark interest for your kiddos? And guess what, guys? This is not only for the kids. You can play these cards yourself, you and your spouse. You can play these cards. You can make it as competitive as possible. The, you know, the person that has the most cards at the end of the game, you know, has to buy dinner, you know. So these are great date night, stay at home date night type activities. You can do this for um Game nights with your family, you can bring these to parties. If you're having a party at your home, a game party or whatever, include this type of stuff. It's really, really fun. And include buzzers, things that make sounds, because everyone loves sound, right? Here is volume three, which is STEM. If you don't know what STEM stands for, it is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Let's look at the deck. And this is a black owned business. I think Boyce Watkins, I think he's the one that sells these cars. This is his business. If I'm wrong, please forgive me. And what you can also do based on what you're learning, if I haven't already said this, based on what you're learning throughout the year, for example, let's say you're studying Africa, West Africa, ancient Egypt, or something like that. You can go through your decks and find something for each volume that will help expand whatever you're learning, okay? And the last deck that I have
hopefully this is of interest guys hopefully you're thinking of ways that you can incorporate this within your home education and within your game schooling, within your game nights, within date nights with your significant other and spouse, you know, parties that you may attend. There's so many different ways to incorporate flashcards. All right, guys, that is it. I wanted to show you that. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below just google online um, black history flashcards and this will definitely pop up and the name the website this is the website as always guys thank you so very much for watching be blessed and make it a great day bye